What's up guys, it's your boy Zion and I'm bringing you another Destiny video. In this one, we're going to be talking about whether or not the raid is puggable. Now for newer players or players who aren't familiar with the term, puggable is basically an acronym. It's basically, is the raid more or less a activity that you can do with a pickup group, aka a pug. So, you go ahead and you have to look at this one of two ways because it's not a clear-cut answer it's something where it's a yes and a no um, if you look it's mainly based on the groups you can get into now I know um, if you go ahead and you look at Destiny LFG the Destiny forums any looking for group site um, YouTube communities Twitch communities to find a group you're going to find a large assortment of people who come from varying backgrounds and have varying experiences with raids, activities, varying gear, everything is very, very up in the air as to how certain you can be when you jump into a group with people that you can actually get the activity done. So, if we go ahead and we look at it as yes, there have been groups I have gotten into where everyone has known the raid. Even if we haven't all known the raid, the people we are teaching the raid to are very familiar with the game in general are very good players and who who actually listen and will do to the point exactly what we tell them to do which is what has to happen in a raid if you don't know the instances and it's something such as oryx where it's any little minor fuck up makes you wipe and you have to start all over so there's groups where it goes from one extreme like that, I can run the raid in 45 minutes with a well cut group who knows all the instances, knows all the cheeses, knows how to get the most damage out of everything, and knows how to get everything done without wiping. Everyone knows their roles, everyone knows what's going on, everything's perfect. Then there's the other extreme, and I'm going to use an example from the other night where I had to refrain from losing my shit. I spent, um almost eight hours doing the raid the other night a single raid I was a level 3 2 Titan had run the raid know the encounters know the jumping puzzles got into a group the first group we were teaching one or two people it got to the point we had to disconnect because that group just wasn't gonna finish the raid at that time okay so we get all the way past the war priest and we disconnect we're not gonna go ahead and do any more of the raid because that group can't so find another group starting at Golgoroth we go ahead and we fight through Golgoroth we get to the daughters for whatever reason that group doesn't want to finish the raid they have to disconnect so go ahead take a break for a little bit come back find a group we managed to do um, the daughters and we started to do one or two runs on Oryx where things started falling apart with that group and people started rage quitting and leaving fine got to I had to find another group the final group I found was a whole team of people who all knew each other personally and were teaching two people who had done it that meant three people that they knew had already done the raid knew the encounters and they were teaching two people they brought me in I was a fourth person who knew it now to do oryx you basically only need four people correct now it took us four hours of trying to do the same thing in which one individual could not understand that he had to stay on top of his tower in the oryx fight otherwise the platforms disappeared something that was a mechanic in the previous encounter that they had gotten through as a group that he could not grasp in the actual oryx fight then we had another individual who for whatever reason refused to go grab his dark bubble his bomb whatever the call out you use he refused to grab it it took yelling at him several times for the group to convince him that it was a necessary part of the raid for him to go grab his bubble. So those are two things where it made things very frustrating very quickly was dealing with those newer players who didn't want to listen to experienced players who, who had to go ahead and continuously remind and continuously reprimand players for not doing their role properly this took us four hours and we still never killed him I got infuriated and had to leave the group just to find a group the next day where I managed to kill Oryx and run two more raids in under three hours
So it, it's something where you definitely have groups that cannot make it through. And by cannot, I mean, yeah, they could if they had different players. But it comes down to there are certain instances where you have to be able to know your role, you have to be able to listen, and that is the key thing with any raid, is communication. Um, for the most part, you can find a pickup group that can run through the raid, whether it's the same group the whole time or different groups through each instance. However, you need to be able to communicate, and that's the biggest issue with having a pickup group is people communicate differently my callouts may not be your callouts your callouts may confuse the living shit out of me um it, it's something where it's very frustrating to run into and make pick up groups a pain to go ahead and use however you do find those groups who have their shit together you can sit down and talk strategy before you actually do something and get through things very quickly because you're all on the same page so what this boils down to is if you are going to use a pickup group like looking for group and a um, forum or any kind of site where you can find people who want to do the raid, make sure you, you find people who you can communicate well with. And if you find people you can communicate well with, add them. Because you can find a lot of people who are willing to do the raids with you on your friends list if you say, hey, we were in a raid last time, I'm going to add you because you're fucking awesome. We can do this again another time. So instead of having to look for a pickup group, you can use a group you've already worked with and have a better rapport. So I just wanted to make this video since hard mode is coming out soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like, a comment, a favorite, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys later. Peace.